Hello to all my lovely ladies and gentlemen out there. My name is Claudine and welcome back to my channel. A special hello to any first time visitors to my channel. I hope this is the first of many visits to come. In fact, if you would take a quick second and hit that subscribe button down below and ding the bell so that you are notified the next time I do upload a video, I would really appreciate it. In today's video, I'm going to give you guys a quick tour and show you what can fit inside the Louis Vuitton Pouchette Kirigami in the small size that you see right here. I'll give you some basic information about this little piece, show you how much it can actually hold, and give you guys my first impressions about this little SLG. Let's get started. So before we dive into the details with this little cutie, I wanted to give a little bit of a background on this piece for anyone out there that may be watching this video and isn't very familiar with it. This is actually one part of a three-piece set that Louis Vuitton sells called the Pouchette Kirigami. The small that you see right here, is best suited for cards and coins. Then there is a medium that is really excellent passport cover, and then a large, which can hold a tablet or can even be used as a clutch if you so choose. The small would fit into the medium, which would fit into the large. So they're kind of like Russian dolls in, in envelope pouch form. This set, according to the research I did, came out back in 2017 in the classic brown monogram print. It currently retails for $660 online, but I'm not sure if that was the price from the get-go two years ago. It may have you know, incurred some price increases since then. I'm not sure if you know all the details or if you know I am wrong in saying that it came out in 2017. If it was earlier, please do hit me down in the comments below and let me know. I would definitely like to make sure I am correct in the information I'm giving out there and would love to know for my own personal knowledge as well. But according to the research I did, I didn't see any chatter about this set prior to 2017, so I believe that that's when it came out. So like I said, it came out back in 2017 in the classic brown monogram print, and it was a huge hit. It obviously stuck around, it's still available today. And then as they had special edition canvas prints or styles, they would release the Pouchette Kirigami set in that as well, including what you see right here, which is the summer 2019 special edition giant monogram canvas print. Now this, because it is a special edition, actually retails a little higher than the classic monogram. The, the set of three in the giant monogram print retail for $850. Now I know you're probably sitting here listening to me talk all this time and I'm talking about the fact that it comes in a small, medium, and large and you're sitting here wondering, where's the medium and large? I actually do not own those pieces. I was able to acquire this little cutie on its own. And you're again, probably wondering, well, how could that be if they sell it as a set? Well, thankfully out in the resale market, there are people that will purchase the entire set. The only way you can actually purchase it from Louis Vuitton. And then they'll either split it up and sell it for parts, or they will, you know, decide it's no longer for them. They didn't think it's gonna work the way they had initially hoped when they purchased it. And instead of going back and returning the item, they'll try to sell it on the resale market. Or they bought it because they really wanted the small because they needed something really nice and compact to hold cards and coins and just decide they wanna sell off the medium and large. So that's kind of how I ended up with this piece on its own. There was a seller out there that had purchased the set. I was able to come across their sale post for this little piece and liked the price point at which they were trying to sell it. So I scooped it up and here it is all by its lonesome. That's why the small is right here and we're talking about the medium and large like phantoms. I will link everything down below though for your reference, including a page that will take you to the Kirigami options that are available right now at Louis Vuitton, as well as a link that will take you directly to the brown monogram print that's available, as well as the one that will take you to the set that includes this black and white small piece here. All right, let me show you the small Pouchette Kirigami up close. Like I said, it is black and white canvas, as you can see here, and it is actually one piece of canvas. The LVs right here are right side up, but if you were to take it around like this, they're upside down, because it is one piece. You go like this, then you'll see it. And if you pop it open, you'll be able to tell that you know it is one piece that was cut in such a way that when you fold it together, it comes in into this cute little envelope style. Now, I don't think it's going to focus, but the button right here says Louis Vuitton on it, which is a really nice detail. You pop it open and you will see that it says Louis Vuitton Paris, made in France, right inside. 
and it says Louis Vuitton on here as well. I hope you can make it out at least a little bit. And then actually I noticed inside the button, the backside of that button in there also says Louis Vuitton. So there's a lot of uh, lovely little detail and they've, they've certainly included their name where they can. And I, I like little details like that. And the date code is down in there on this side. You can probably see a little bit of it there. And like I said, this is a canvas on the exterior, but the inside is actually uh, calf leather lined. Here is the small pochette kirigami. It's still empty. I'll show you what it can hold. I did some homework actually so that I wouldn't waste too much time on camera trying to guess how many cards it can hold max. I realized in my research that the maximum number of cards that it can hold comfortably is 10. So here are 10 loyalty cards that I have that are probably the same thickness as a credit card or basically worst case scenario thickness of any kind of card you may need to put into the Pouchette Kirigami. So let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Get them all together. Here is this empty. Pop it right in. And there you go. All ten of them fit, no problem closes very easily. There's no bulking to the pouch. It, it holds them very comfortably. You could try to squeeze in more, but again, I think you're going to start running into problems of getting the cards in and out easily. I brought some cash actually and coins so that I could show you um, how it can hold cards, coins, and cash. Now, I personally don't think I would add anything more to it if I'm holding 10 cards in here. So what I'm going to do is cut that number in half one two three four five cards put those back in see obviously you have a lot more room brought some cash some money here fold it you mean it's not going to fit if you do just half so you're going to have to fold it twice like so cash goes in no problem so now i've got cards and cash and now let's see can we Fit some coins. This is we're gonna learn together. Got some coins here. Here they are. It fits. So in a pinch, if you need cards, coins, and cash, they fit. No problem. Now when it comes to business cards fitting in the small pochette kirigami. I realize that I don't think that's going to work as easily as it would for cards, credit cards, loyalty cards, things like that. Cause I, again, I tried to do some homework before filming so that I wouldn't take up too much time. And I realized, look here, this is one card. And then back here are some business cards that I had. So as you can see, it's a little bit longer than the credit card. So when it comes time to try to put them in here, I think you can do it, but it's going to, it's not going to be as easy. I'll show you got 10 of them here as well. I'm going to try and see if I can get them all in. I mean, they do go in. You can put 10 of them in there. Uh, but I don't know, it feels like when I have my hands on either side of the of the uh, pochette right now, I can feel those cards. You know, the, with, the, um, with the business cards, you can feel the the edges of, of the cards kind of pressing against the canvas. But with this, there's, you know, there's a little more flexibility. So I'm kind of hesitant to use it as a business card holder because I would worry about how the pochette kirigami will wear over time with the extra length pressing onto the sides of the envelope. Let me show you again. See, just focusing on the length you know, you see there's some room on either side of the cards, but then when you do the business cards, put a few less just to get it in there quicker. There isn't as much room. So I don't know, I would worry that maybe the leather might start to wear and, and scratch because these are ever so slightly longer than credit card or loyalty card. So I don't know, maybe if your business cards are 
not as long if they are more in line with with the size of a credit card then it would be a non-issue and you can use it just fine my initial thoughts on the small pochette kirigami are very positive i'm going to be using this as an ultra compact option for a wallet if and when i want to go compact just because i do or if i am carrying a smaller purse that doesn't have as much real estate in it as my work bag does or my other larger bags do as you saw in the video, it can hold cash, coins, and some cards, no problem. So I think it'll serve a great purpose as an ultra compact wallet. I probably will also swap it in and out of rotation as a loyalty card holder with the one I'm currently using. If and when I'm kind of bored and want a change of pace as far as the pouch I use for my loyalty cards is concerned. I think it's a cute little option if you want to pick up this piece and you're like me, you don't need all three pieces, but you really are vibing the look of the small, keep an eye out on the resale market. I'm sure it will pop up and hopefully it'll be at a price point at which you're comfortable with. I would highly suggest picking it up. It's cute, it's, it's different from their traditional monogram and their other uh, traditional canvas styles that they have out there for the ladies. So it's definitely a fun, special piece to own if you are able to get your hands on it. That is it for this video. I hope you liked it and that it provided you with some information and answered some questions or concerns you might have had, at least about the small pochette kirigami. If you did like it, please do give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. Ding the bell so that you are notified the next time I do upload a video. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.